What's up, cool cats? Welcome back to another episode of Gear Review. Thanks for all your support. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys are doing safe out there in YouTube land. Uh, today, we're going to be reviewing the Gretsch G5410T, which is the Rat Rod model, all part of the Electromatic Collection. Uh, great, great guitar. They made three versions of this. This is the matte black. Behold, uh, they made a matte gray and they made a matte white. Um, they all individually stand out really cool on their own. This one seemed to grab my eye quite a bit. Uh, it's got a lot of cool features on it. Starting with the Bigsby B60 series uh, on this guitar. I don't have a lot of previous experience with Bigsby's, but uh, for the most part, what I'm using on this one sounds great. Easy to keep in tune. It does not go out of tune. Then again, I'm not really one of those Steve Vai kind of guys that just you know pick up the guitar and kind of with it across the board, but it's, uh, for what it's doing, for its purpose, rockabilly, country, psychobilly, this is the guitar you definitely want to have. Uh, apart from um, Brian setzer has got his own version of the, his hot rod ones, which are all metallic green, metallic uh, orange, metallic blue, metallic red. Um, same thing, except he's got TV Joan pickups. But these ones carry the um, dual Filtertron uh, pickups with the red... In, inserts in them and they're just great. Uh, this one's got the aged white binding on it uh, throughout the entire body. Uh, it's got the, the headstock from the G612 series uh, which is from the late 50s. Um, they kept the same piece on that. It's got a U-shaped neck. Uh, the tuners, the tunematics, they're great. Uh, I haven't had any issues with them going out of tune. No complaints there. Uh, Rosewood fingerboard which is nice, complements the black, and of course a maple body with the oversized <laughs> F-holes, which is great. Uh, graph, tech, nut, and uh, she sounds great. So, um, but let's put it through a test right now. I'm running it through my Two Notes uh, Torpedo Live. I basically picked out a tweed, a little bit of no distortion, and my usual rocky belly sound, a little bit of a delay and some chorus. Okay. The bridge position. volume on this one and it's got uh, three other volumes that you can do are you blending with your pickups I basically for me I just got them all cranked to full and then they used to use the front as a master up or down uh, that was the bridge center kind of takes a little bit more of the bass into it <laughs> Thank you. 
There you have it. Really cool, simple. Um, if you just want straight out of the box rockabilly, and straight out of the box rock and roll, this is a guitar that you definitely gonna want to check out. Um, the one thing I have noted with some of the other Gretches is that this one is not as thick. Uh, as a body as some of the other Gretches over the past, like the, uh, the Chet Atkins model or the uh, Electromac um, Electromatic from like the 60s and 70s. So this one's got a little more of a thinner shape. Uh, easy to hold, easy to play. Um, but don't take my word for it. Definitely go check it out. And uh, this is definitely going to be one you want to have in your collection. And uh, for that kind of music, absolutely, definitely. Really easy to set up. Hope you enjoyed the review. Check back often, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will do the same for you. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the review, and uh, keep rocking.